Tensions have once again escalated in the Middle East. Rockets are being fired out of the Gaza Strip into Israel at Tel Aviv, and now reports today even show that a, a rocket has struck near Jerusalem, which raises the stakes of the problems that uh, could spin out of control as a result of this latest flare-up of the problems in the Middle East. It doesn't bring really any surprises because it has always been a hot spot. It continues to be a hot spot. It's disputed land, different claims from different people, and so it continues to reflect the challenges that we face in the Middle East and that will eventually lead up to the time of the end. And what should be noted on this, there are questions as to how far this will spread. Egypt is going to be involved. They've already had uh, representatives from Egypt visit into Gaza. But uh, whether or not this is going to spread any further at this time is still unknown. It still may be localized within between the Palestinians in Gaza and the Israeli Defense Forces, which have been mobilized and called up. What this uh, report today about a, an attack, a rocket attack in, in or near Jerusalem, just to the south of the city according to the report, brings to mind is the possibility of just how volatile aiming a rocket out of, uh, out of Gaza toward Jerusalem, how, that, how bad that can be because it could easily spin out of control. Uh, it wouldn't take much more than a gust of wind to take the course of that rocket uh, that may have been intended for, let's say, an Israeli government building, it could go off course and land in a group of Palestinian neighborhoods, or even worse po possibly for the, the consequences, it could fall on an Islamic holy site, which would further inflame and cause the problem to potentially spin completely out of control. I think it reminds us of the, the challenges that are surrounding that area of the world. And Christ focused on that quite a bit in prophesying about the future. In Luke chapter 21, in verse 20, he tells us, when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation is near. Now when you think about the words of Christ, we think about armies that are constantly fighting come to mind. But think about the fact, is Jerusalem already surrounded by armies? You know, in one way, it already is. So when these things flare up again, it certainly comes to mind that we're getting closer to this time that Christ is talking about every day. And we're not saying that uh, Luke 21, 20 is being currently fulfilled. That's not the point. But it just should remind us of just how much of a tinderbox it is there. And again, point us to what Christ said and help keep us aware that we, we live in a very uh, tense, volatile world, and especially the Middle East can spin out of control beyond anybody's imagination. Keep your eye on world events. Join us again for BT Daily.